True sustainability means smarter management. It means, for example, we cannot content ourselves with one-size-fits-all approaches. It means we can't content ourselves with a short-term focus where we ignore the long-term because it's just too hard for us to think about. It means that we can't ignore the bigger picture for the same reason. We often have to customize the ways that we do business to take into account things that in the past we ignored. And almost by definition, those things that we ignored are what environmental economists refer to as externalities, right? It is in paying attention to those things that we produce more sustainable business practices. And in saying this, I want to recognize that all of this requires a massive data analytic capacity. And that is one of the things why I get excited as a professor at Des Hotel for this redesign of our MBA. Because in the more than a decade since I became an assistant professor, I have thought a lot about the future. I have wondered about how we were going to deal with these types of problems. And I've seen some of the connections between environmental and social sustainability and the future of business in terms of data and analytics. If I can, I just want to paint a picture for a moment about industries where you might not necessarily think about why data and analytics are so important, but in fact, they drive the potential for sustainable practices in those industries. Let's talk about wind. Wind power is one of the poster childs of sustainable business today and sustainability in general. However, if you have paid attention to the wind sector as well as the solar power sector, you may know that the fundamental challenge at this point facing power generation from renewable resources is not actually the generation of the power in and of itself. The cost per watt of producing via wind and solar power has been plummeting for years. Instead, it's a question of how we store the power that we have generated. Unlike current power systems, power generation from solar and wind sources is variable and we need ways to store that power to match consumer demand. That, of course, means development of batteries and capacitors that can store the generated power, but it also means that electric power utilities have to be incredibly intelligent in how they think about using that power and storing it. This is why Google, for example, has been highly involved in many power generation projects in recent years because they're trying to develop machine learning techniques to more accurately forecast electrical demand. We need literally a smarter grid which means smarter management. So notice what I'm talking about here in each of these cases are industries that are far from tech as it's often considered, and yet they have a reliance on high technology, on analytics, on machine learning, and other new ideas that I think are incredibly important if these industries are going to be more sustainable in the future. We mustn't think about sustainability as simply not doing business. We have to think about it as doing business better and more efficiently, and again, that means we change our business processes. That means we change how we do management.